Here we go in the second series of discussions in regard to taking a tire from a two inch chip size to a half inch wire free. Once you produce a two inch chip or you must produce a two inch chip or you cannot go further in a tire recycling line because this is the feedstock that guarantees you good output production of a rubber free steel, a 12 millimeter minus fraction, and that 12 millimeter minus fraction is significantly about 70 percent of 12 millimeter to 5 millimeter and about 30 to 40 percent of 5 mesh to 20 mesh. That is done in a machine that is called a rasper and this is the rotor of a rasper that is used to basically take the two inch chip down to your wire free form. Down below here is the shear type shredder cutters that are used to basically make a two inch chip. As I said in some of my previous movies or discussions, you have to use slow speed shear type shredders to produce a chip or a shredded product that's acceptable for the rasper. The Rasper is a specialized machine that only four companies in the world make. Other people try to modify granulators to do what a Rasper does, but that really doesn't cut the mustard. You can go ahead and believe what you want, but the Elven Rasper, the CM Liberator, the Granutech Grizzly, or the Shredder Hotline Rasper are the only four machines in the world that are specifically designed for use in a tire recycling operation to take a two inch chip down to a half inch wire free. The machines typically range, if bought from others, in around the five hundred to six hundred thousand dollar range. We build them and sell them for half that price. They're typically a four hundred horsepower machine, but we also make a three hundred, a two hundred, and a one hundred horsepower series. Sometimes people want to do tire recycling systems to the stage of a wire free product but they only want 500 kilograms an hour, 500 pounds an hour, 1000 pounds an hour of production. Since as you can see from this, this is a big machine, we downsize that without sacrificing the durability of having a big machine doing your job. And that's probably an important statement that I need to make. Little teeny shredders and little teeny granulators do not cut the mustard in a tire recycling operation. A lot of companies, especially those in China that are trying to take your money from you and walk away from the sale after they have your money, try to provide very small machines to do a big boy's job. You can see from this picture here just the size of the man in relationship to the opening of what we call our six inch cutter configuration. They're massive machines and you cannot do it in small machines. If you want to try it, you want to buy from us small machines because we make small machines. We're more than willing to sell you those small machines. So if you think you're smarter than we are, and that's great because some of you may be smarter than we are. Just tell us what you want to buy and we'll tell you what it costs and we'll build it for you. But it may not work very long. We know that machines of this size, machines of this size, and machines of this size do work well and work a long, long time on 24-hour shifts, 365 days out of the year for 10 to 15 years with general maintenance provided and some of our machines are out there for 30 years with general maintenance provided on a daily basis, a weekly basis, and a monthly basis to keep them operational. Nothing lasts forever. That's the end of my discussion on basically taking a two inch to a half inch wire free. Contact us at shredderhotline.com. Thank you.